and Silas. In prison? Wait a minute. I don't think I know about this one. <gasps> Time to dive into the Bible and see what this story is all about. Right, I'm going to put my goggles on. <gasps> nice deep breath. <gasps> <laughs> Whoa. In a city called Philippi, there was a man named Paul and a man named Silas. Paul and Silas were followers of Jesus and they loved sharing the good news about Jesus and they loved helping people. But some people didn't like this because it ruined their nasty plans and they did some really horrible things to Paul and Silas. They locked them up in prison. Paul and Silas were put inside a prison cell and their feet were tied up and a jailer stood outside to guard the door so they couldn't escape. In the middle of the night, whilst the jailer was sleeping, Paul and Silas were singing songs and praises to God. The other prisoners listened to them singing and praying. Suddenly, there was a huge earthquake. Oh, the earthquake was so big and so strong that it shook the ground and the prison doors flew open and all the prisoners were freed from the chains that tied them up. The jailer woke up and saw that the prison doors were open. He began to panic. If all the prisoners had escaped, he would be in so much trouble. But Paul and Silas didn't want the jailer to get into trouble. So they shouted out to him to let them know that they were still there. The jailer told someone to bring him a light so he could see. Then he ran inside the prison cell and fell on the floor. His whole body shook with fear and he wondered what had happened. The jailer had been so mean to Paul and Silas, but still, they chose not to run away so that he wouldn't get into any trouble. This made the jailer want to change and become a better person. So he said, what must I do to be saved? Just believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. You, your family and everyone in your house. Then Paul and Silas shared the great truth about Jesus with the jailer and his family. They were amazed at everything they heard and they wanted Jesus to help them in their lives too. They believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and they were saved and made brand new. The next morning, Paul and Silas were freed. Okay, goggles on. <laughs> Here we go! Wow! Paul and Silas praised God, even when they were in prison. And because of this, the jailer and his whole family got to hear about Jesus. I'm going to praise God whenever I can, just like Paul and Silas did.